Hello and welcome to the trigonometry video series, video 2. This time we're having a look at the trigonometry ratios. There are three trigonometry ratios we can use for right angle triangles and they use various combinations of the hypotenuse, the opposite side and the adjacent sides. So the sine ratio, uh, it uses the opposite side over the hypotenuse. It's a ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. We call it the sine ratio. And so we can say that sine theta, sine of some angle we're considering, will equal the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And we'll just use O and H to uh, represent those sides. So in this triangle here, we have theta in the bottom right hand corner and three sides there. Um, and if we're asked to find the sine ratio for that angle theta, this is how we go about it. We'll name the sides first off, and we saw in the last video how to name the sides of right angle triangles. We'll name that first longest side the hypotenuse with an H. And the, on the opposite side of the triangle from the theta we have the 5, so we're going to call that side the opposite side. And the one that's left over is the adjacent side, so we'll put an A next to that one. So the sine ratio uh, involves the opposite side on top over the hypotenuse on the bottom. So in this case, sine theta will equal 5, which is in the opposite position, over 13, which is in the hypotenuse position. So we would say sine theta equals 5 over 13. The next of our trigonometry ratios is cosine. Uh, the cosine ratio, we kind of call it cos, really. And it involves a ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So cos theta would equal adjacent over hypotenuse, A over H. So in, in the same triangle that we had before, if we're finding the cosine ratio this time, cosine theta will equal adjacent over hypotenuse. We'll name the sides again. Hypotenuse was the longest side, the 5 was in the opposite position, and the 12 was in the adjacent position. And so we'll piece together the cosine ratio of theta. Um, A is uh, 12, that's the adjacent side, so that goes on top, and over H, which is the hypotenuse, 13. So we'd say the cos ratio, or the cosine ratio, for theta would be 12 over 13. The third of our trig ratios is the tangent ratio. We call it tan, and it equals the it involves the opposite side, a ratio of the opposite side over the adjacent side. So tan theta we would say is O over A or opposite over adjacent. So from that same triangle we'll name the sides again H, O and A. And the tan theta We'll piece it together. We want the opposite on the top, so our 5 is going to go on top over the adjacent on the bottom, and 12 is in that adjacent position, so 5 over 12. We'd say the tangent ratio for theta, or tan theta, in this case equals 5 over 12 from this triangle. Now how do we remember those three trig ratios? It's up to us to remember the combinations of sides that are involved in the sine, cos and tan ratios. We've got a quirky little uh, saying here that everyone remembers and uh, it helps us remember the trig ratios. Some old hags, and we'll take the first letter of each of those words to help us remember the trig ratios. Some old hags can't always hide their old age. So uh, old ladies might um, put on lots of makeup in an attempt to hide their old age, but it doesn't always work. Um, so some old hags can't always hide their old age. If we remember that saying, and just focus in then on the first letter of each of the words, we can get our trig ratios out of that. From the S, the O and the H from some old hags, we'll say sine theta equals O over H. Some old hags, sine O equals opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, can't always hide, we'll take the cos ratio from that and make it equal to A over H. And the their old age bit, that's our tan ratio here, and we're going to extract the O and the A from those two words to suggest that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So it's just a funny way of uh, remembering the combinations of sides that are involved in the sine ratio, the cos ratio, and the tan ratio. Some old hags can't always hide 
their old age. Some students uh, shorten it to say Soka Toa, but uh, anyway, you can always remember the, the phrase, some old hags can't always hide their old age, just so that we can come up with in our minds sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan three theta equals opposite over adjacent. It's uh, those three trig ratios are the basis of many questions, so we need to remember it. This question here asks us to find all three ratios one at a time, so let's see how we might go about that. Sine theta now, well, before we start thinking about sine, cos and tan and all those uh, arrangements of sides, we'd better name the sides properly. So the longest side is the hypotenuse, which we'll name first. The side that's on the opposite side of the triangle to the angle that we are considering is on the 6th there, so we'll put an O over there and our adjacent side is just our third side that's left over. So once we've named that, we've got a, a fighting chance of uh, completing this trig question here. Sine theta, some old hags, okay, so sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we'll look to put the number on the, in the, on the opposite side over the number on the hypotenuse. And uh, in this case, sine theta equals 6 from the opposite and 10 from the hypotenuse. Now this is just a basic fraction or a ratio really and we need to, we've got an obligation to simplify that where we can. So we're going to uh, just simplify that 6 over 10 down to 3 over 5. So we don't leave um, any trig ratios unsimplified, we'll try and simplify them down. So in this case sine theta equals uh, 3 over 5 in the end. Now cos theta uh, from the can't always hide section of our quirky um, saying that helps us remember the trig ratios. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And you can see from our triangle that the adjacent is the 8 and the hypotenuse is our 10. And 8 over 10 simplifies down to being 4 over 5. We can always type those into our calculator, those fractions, and let, it, uh, let the calculator help us with simplifying those fractions. So the 10... Uh, theta this time is the their old age section of our saying tan theta equals opposite over adjacent the number in the opposite position this time is a 6 and the, the adjacent is an 8 and we'll simplify 6 over 8 into 3 over 4 so all three trig ratios were involved in this question it's up to us to know which one's which and which combination of sides are involved so there's a little bit of memorizing involved but once we memorize all three sine, cos and tan ratios and the sides that are involved, we've got a pretty good chance of getting the question out. So there are our trig ratios. Just to reiterate, just to summarize, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So there are our three trig ratios. I hope we'll get the hang of them and when we get lots of practice that'll become second nature to us and uh, it'll come straight to mind when we need, need it in a test, I trust. So watch the video over again if you like, but uh, that'll get you well on the way to answering most trigonometry questions, just knowing those three trig ratios that we're working with. Thanks for listening. That's the trig ratios video from the trig video series uh, video two. I'll see you next time.